The Efficient Market Hypothesis, or EMH in short, was originally developed by Professor Eugene Farmer. According to the theory, markets are efficient when prices reflect all relevant information at any point in time. Such relevant information can be categorised as three distinct sets. All relevant information refers to all the information that has been made public and all information that is private that only the insiders or management knows. A subset of this is only all the relevant information that has been made public. This includes financial statement data, company announcements, analyst reports and past market data. From this, we can derive another subset, which is just the past market data. This refers to all historical price and trading volume information. The efficient market hypothesis defines three forms of market efficiency with respect to these three sets of information. Firstly, the weak form of market efficiency states that current market prices fully reflect all past market data. This implies that investors cannot predict future price changes by extrapolating prices or patterns of prices from the past. In other words, technical analysis which is strategies used to earn positive risk-adjusted returns by using historical price and volume data, cannot work in such a market. One level up, the semi-strong form of market efficiency, states that prices reflect all publicly known and available information. This includes past market data, which is also public information. Therefore, the semi-strong form of market efficiency encompasses the weak form. This form of market efficiency implies that an investor cannot achieve positive risk-adjusted returns on average by using fundamental analysis, which is based on public information such as earnings, dividends and various accounting ratios and estimates. The highest level of market efficiency is the strong form market efficiency. In such a market, Security prices fully reflect both public and private information. So by definition, a market that is strong form efficient is also semi-strong and weak form efficient. This implies that even insiders with material private information would not be able to earn abnormal returns as the prices already fully reflect the implications of the insider information. However, this is not likely because given the prohibition on insider trading in most markets, it would be unrealistic to expect markets to reflect all private information. Evidence suggests that markets are not strong form efficient. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.